So your PC might be running slow or you think that you might have malware on your system and you're just maybe looking to get a fresh start on your PC. So how do you install Windows 10 from scratch? Let me show you. So you would need an 8GB flash drive and if you're still living in 2010 or your PC is really old and only has a DVD drive option to boot from, then you would need a double layer DVD to begin. Now step one is to back up everything that is critical and important to you. So you can copy it to an external hard drive or another flash drive which is different from what we're going to use with the Windows 10 install. I have a whole another video that will show you how to back up your system right up there. Step two is download the ISO. Now you can go to Google Chrome and go to the Microsoft website to download the Windows ISO. Hit F12 on the Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge window. Click on the little device icon, select Pixel to Excel or any other device. Refresh the page and you will see Windows 10 October 2020 update. Select that, select your language, for me it's English, and then click on download 64-bit. Now you can use 32-bit version if your PC is really, really old. I'm talking before 2010 and has less than 4 gigs of RAM. Next step is download a USB tool called Rufus. Link will be in the description as well. Run that software, select the ISO. Depending on your system, select UEFI if your system is less than 5 years old. If it's anything recent, it's going to be UEFI and if it's older than that then you just select MBR. Now hit the start button and wait for the files from the ISO to go to the USB and wait for the finish message. Next step is to shut the system down. Plug the USB that you built into the PC. Start the PC, find out the boot menu button for your specific laptop or PC. I'll leave a list about here for all the common ones. Once you're in the boot menu you select the UEFI USB now, if you don't see the message, go back to the BIOS by pressing F2 or delete, normally on all systems, and that will take you to BIOS and disable secure boot. That will allow you to boot from USB partitions. Once you've done that, come back to the boot menu. In the boot menu, select the USB drive for me, it's the SanDisk one. Select that, boot into the installer, select the language, skip the product key, accept the license terms. With the partitions, I'm running two disks, so I'm gonna only delete one primary disk that I have. Now normally systems only have one disk. If you only have one disk, you can delete all of the partitions, but make sure you have had a backup of all that data before you do that. Once you've deleted everything, just select the unallocated space and hit next and then just it's a waiting game. Now give it a few minutes and you'll be at the setup screen, finish the setup process as required and you'll land on desktop as soon as you're done. Now if you have trouble at any step of this video, leave it in the comments. But that's pretty much it. So that wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos on the screen. Leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon if you like this kind of content and I'll see you guys in the next one.